a very intelligent, seemingly high-minded individual, very educated, and they sent me a donation, and they sent me proof that they sent me the donation, right? They sent me screenshots, so I could plainly see that they had sent me the donation on their end, that they had, they had sent it out. However, on my end, I had not received it yet. This was on a Thursday or a Friday, I think. I'm aware of business hours, folks. I've been doing this for a while. I'm aware that some things don't hit until Monday or Tuesday, and as far as banking goes. So I sent them an email where I said, if forward slash when I receive your donation, your gift, I will then contact you and confirm it, blah, blah, blah. I said, if and when. They sent me back an email basically saying that I had made them uncomfortable and that implying that I was accusing them of lying by saying if and when I receive your donation. So they immediately took it personal and said that it's their experience that this, this type of energy is not good and so therefore they were going to learn grammar somewhere else. Which is fine, that's their choice. I mean, that's up to them. Here's the thing. When I said, if and when I receive your donation, I was referring to the multiple times over the last six years where similar situations have happened, where someone has sent me a screenshot of them sending out the donation, but I never get it. It never, it never arrives in my bank account, even though they sent it. It's not their fault. When I say if I if and when I receive your donation, I'm not saying I'm not accusing them of not doing their part. I'm not stupid. I can clearly say or see that they sent it. Right? I'm saying I'm referring more to the banking system. Something might happen, a glitch in the system might happen, and I don't get it for whatever reason. And that has happened multiple times in the past. But yet this individual even though I sent them back an email apologizing for making them uncomfortable, but I also explained to them what I meant by if and when, I haven't heard back from them. They obviously made a snap judgment. 
which is another thing that I choose not to do in my dealings. I really try hard not to make snap judgments, but then again, here's the thing about an individual like that. If an individual like that is so quick to judge someone else they don't know and to judge a communication one way when they don't have the whole story, they may not possess the neurological pathways to learn correct sentence structure. They may not have the patience or the grace to do that. So it's a good thing anyways. It's a beneficial thing for all parties involved. They don't have to deal with me and I certainly don't have to deal with them. But I just thought I'd share that with you. We're here for a good time, not for a long time, folks. Try not to take anything too personally. Sorry about the quality of this video and I'll catch you later.